Hi guys, it's me Jimmy and Kick. Xbox One just announced the backward compatibility in E3 2015 which is the first nail in coffin of the PlayStation 4. You will be thinking that what the goodness of heaven I am talking about. I am just talking about that never ever estimate the console based on its horsepower. Less I mean talk about PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 was one of the weaker console compared to GameCube and then to the original Xbox. But at the end of all day, it became the best selling console. It has been sold over 155 million. And the same thing is going to happen with the Xbox One. Xbox One is, a, is an underpowered console, but still it going to be oversell and then going to beat the goodness of heaven out of playstation 4 due to its new strategy i mean allow to the playstation 3 owner i mean just upgrade to playstation 4 or or are just holding to upgrade they didn't upgrade it i mean most of the currently i mean last gen gamer are going to upgrade within this year or next year but they have two choice they can go to the xbox one playstation 4 if xbox one is offering the backward compatibility of course i mean most of the gamer are going to upgrade to xbox one due to a lot of games they always wish to play but they do not have money to play i mean because they can't buy another xbox 360 like Alan wake like hello like gears of war i mean Xbox 360 was launched one year before the launch of PlayStation 3 so of course the Xbox 360 library is much bigger than the PlayStation 3 and that there are a lot of exclusive games which can be only played on the Xbox 360 but now I mean most of the exclusive games can be played on the Xbox One so I mean more than 100 games can be played on the Xbox One so of course I mean I bought the PlayStation 4 just watch my unboxing I didn't upgrade to Xbox One I own an Xbox 360 I mean basically I just I mean, went to the shop and then I just found out that Metal Gear Ground Zero works 720p on Xbox One and 180p 1080p on PlayStation 4 that just make my decision basically I just was going to buy the hello master chief collection bundle but at the end of the day i pick up the playstation 4 but i'm just waiting for the xbox one slim i mean i know we, we all know microsoft is i mean going to give us the xbox one slim but again we have to wait one year if 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 microsoft do everything right i mean they're going to have a halo they're going to have the gears of war collection they're going to have a quantum break i mean they're going to have a new dead rising game they are going to have a record game so even they are going to have exclusive race race of tomb raider rise of tomb raider game you will be just saying to me that uh, jimmy you can write it down a digital game on the xbox one and then on the playstation 4 i mean there is i mean not a big deal if xbox one is backward compatible but there is a big deal I mean Sony said they are not going to be focused on the backward compatibility but Microsoft said they are going to focus that make a huge difference why due to the physical copy Xbox one can play the physical copy which mean that the games are going to be freaking cheap you are going to download an X for example if you are going to download an Halo 4 game or whatever Xbox 360 old title like Alien Wake on the Xbox One, it is going to cost you around 20 US dollars to 30 US dollars. Same go with the PlayStation 4. You are going to download a PlayStation 3 game, but on a physical copy, I mean, you can easily get a Alan Wake for less than 10 bucks. A new physical copy, if you just want to go to freaking cheap, I mean, second hand copy or a used copy, you can easily grab from really five bucks. I mean, it's something you can grab from games, uh, what is called GameStop.com. Sometimes you can just I mean grab from eBay bundle sale or Xbox 360 game slot and then sometimes you can just grab from local grass even I, I have seen in my life I mean two dollar one dollar Xbox 360 game I mean like a really freaking launch title what is called perfect dark zero I see it was selling for one dollar earning one US dollar so I mean if you want to basically I'm going to buy the Xbox one I own the Xbox 360 but a lot of i mean on xbox 360 my collection is already is already huge but my xbox 360 is i mean acting a little bit weird i mean my xbox 360 controller is stop working if i go to buy a new controller it will it will cost me 50 us dollar if i buy a new xbox 360 it will cost me around 120 us dollar yes on a hong kong now we can pick a new xbox 360 the the what is called the third gen xbox 360 or the xbox 360 slim 2 
I mean the ugly looking Xbox 360 look like an Xbox One copy I can just grab from 120 years and new so I was just thinking I mean my Xbox 360 is the original Xbox 360 so I was just thinking that's much better that I can grab a new Xbox 360 I mean for 120 rather than buying a new controller for 40 for 50 US dollar even my Xbox 360 making a lot of noise and my Xbox 360 is broken from side because I didn't care I mean so much but after the announcement of this of course i'm i'm going to buy pick up the 350 dollar xbox one which can play i mean most of my game but remember one thing not all games are playable microsoft said it's up to developer developer have to write a new line of code which make it compatible with xbox one xbox one is using a blu-ray disc uh, but the Xbox 360 was not using so it was really hard to understand how they're making it happen and then dumb as sony saying we are not letting it happen PlayStation 3 games are all in Blu-ray Blu and the PlayStation 4 is using a Blu-ray I mean it's very frequent simply I mean barely I mean Sony games developer or the PlayStation 3 game developer have to write a half line of code compared to the Xbox 360 game developer I mean there's a huge difference I mean you are basically putting a Blu-ray into a Blu-ray player or you are putting a normal DVD or dual layer DVD into the Blu-ray player I mean playing a dual layer DVD in a Blu-ray player is not compatible so that's why I mean I don't know what is going behind the scene, but Microsoft, I mean, is really coming back into the game. Microsoft, I mean, to be honest with you, a lot of people are going to buy Xbox One due to this fact. I mean, they can pick really freaking cheap Xbox 360 game. I mean, no one wants to own two consoles. I mean, yeah, you can pick up for, I think on Amazon for 150 bucks, you can pick up a new Xbox 360. Um, but still a lot of people don't want to own two consoles, they only want to own one console. I hate digital download, I mean, one person was asking me they want to play most of the PSP game, but should they buy PS Vita, I say no way, you are going to buy the PlayStation Vita, it is going to cost you 20 US dollars, I mean, for a Grand Theft Auto, Liberty Cities, I'm not, it's around 15 US dollars on the PlayStation Store if you download, but you can easily pick up the UMD for, I mean, less than 3-4 bucks. I'm not really curious, just go to your local store, I mean just go to one of them, I don't know from wherever you are, just try to go to your local video game stores, or just try to look at local grass, I mean you can buy really freaking cheap things, that's why I love physical copy, I mean for example, I was I was just going to buy a Call of Duty Ghost, I was, was thinking to download from the Play Store, store. I check it out, it's around 35 US dollar, and then when I just go to a local store, it was only around 12 US dollar. I mean there's a huge difference I mean even I can buy pre on copy or second hand copy so of course I mean physical games back or compatibility is one of the first nail in the coffin PlayStation 4 is not offering any new game not offering something like wow only uncharted or horizon which is a good game Microsoft I mean is doing everything Microsoft bringing hell of five this year Microsoft I mean putting so much effort on marketing they are trying to get more exclusive which were never exclusive I mean who can even think that Rise of Tomb Raider can be an exclusive game for Xbox One I mean it was unthinkable and the Microsoft let it happen so now subscribe to my channel it's me Jimmy bye bye